It's basically designed for a smooth ride. If you focus on making it gentle from the start, you end up with a much more optimized design. That's why it seems possible to achieve that goal. Especially if Optimus Tesla's robot is involved in cleaning the car, performing maintenance, or even handling automatic charging. Today we have two major updates about the Tesla Model 2. Yes, you heard correctly. This is the first real reason we believe the Tesla Model 2 can genuinely hit the $15,990 price tag. Elon Musk might once again shock the world with his creativity by connecting the Tesla bot Optimus directly with the Model 2's functions, letting it take care of car cleaning, routine maintenance, and even autonomous charging. But the bigger surprise is that by the end of this year, the Tesla Model 2 could include Tesla's first-ever sodium ion battery. We're not saying it's superior to the 4680 cell, but it's definitely more affordable than any of Tesla's current high-end batteries. The reason is simple. It's the first sodium battery capable of performing just as well as premium lithium batteries. Imagine getting 310 miles of range with just a 5-minute charge, and at the same time, facing a far lower risk of fire or explosion compared to lithium. So, what exactly makes this new battery so unique for electric vehicles? And why would Tesla choose sodium instead of sticking with the 4680 or LFP batteries? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Stay tuned, because in just one minute, you'll see never before seen clips of the Tesla model to testing this new battery technology, and join more than 258,000 Tesla fans who get exclusive updates before anyone else. Subscribe now to stay ahead. Not long ago, many people who doubted electric cars claimed they would never buy one unless it had at least 300 miles of range. That barrier has now been crossed. Modern EVs can easily travel 400 to 500 miles per charge thanks to incredible battery advancements. But now, the focus has shifted from range to charging time. Those same critics are now saying they won't make the switch until an EV can charge as quickly as refueling a gasoline car. The truth is, people will always find something to complain about. But if an electric vehicle can gain 310 miles of range in just 5 minutes, there really wouldn't be any excuse left to doubt EVS. Tesla's top battery partner, CATL, may have created what could be the most advanced battery ever made. It completely changes the long-held belief that lithium cannot be replaced. Doing so by using sodium, an element that is about 1,400 times more common than lithium. Analysts are now predicting this innovation could transform the entire EV industry and even replace half of the current LFP battery market. LFP batteries, by the way, are already among the most affordable types available. Specifically, CATL's new Naxtra EV battery pack, which is expected to be used in the Tesla Model 2 offers an impressive energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram. That's the highest among sodium ion batteries, and similar to the LFP, batteries Tesla currently uses in its mass-market vehicles. This allows the Model 2 to deliver around 500 kilometers of range on a single charge, with a battery lifespan of over 10,000 cycles greatly, lowering long-term maintenance costs, achieving 175 watt per kilogram for a sodium battery and fitting it into a commercial car like the Model 2 is a major engineering achievement. Normally sodium ion batteries only reach between 130 and 150 watt hours per kilogram. The challenge comes from the fact that sodium ions are larger than lithium ions, which makes arranging them efficiently inside the battery structure more difficult. This forces engineers to make the battery cells either bigger or leave extra space for the ions to move, which usually lowers the overall energy density. Also, sodium is naturally heavier than lithium, meaning sodium ion batteries tend to weigh more than lithium ion batteries with the same capacity. That's why achieving this kind of performance has taken decades of research and countless hours of testing around the world. CATL has finally cracked the problem, and the Tesla Model 2 will be the first real-world example of this technology in action. Of course, 175 watt-hours per kilogram still doesn't quite match the 272 watt-hours per kilogram of Tesla's current 4680 cells, but CATL's long-term target is to push sodium ion battery density closer to 200 watt-hours per kilogram. For now, 175 is already a massive step forward for budget EVs. Even though the energy density is average, the Nextra pack created for the Tesla Model 2 can charge faster than any other battery currently in use. Just 5 minutes of charging gives about 310 miles, nearly 500 kilometers of driving range. That makes the model to the first affordable EV to offer a gas tank-like refueling experience. Charging speed in any battery depends on how fast ions move between the two electrodes. In the Model 2's Nextra battery, sodium ions move through the electrolyte from the anode to the cathode and back again. One major reason behind the battery's record speed is the improved conductivity of the sodium ions in the electrolyte. In liquid electrolytes, sodium ions diffuse extremely quickly, which speeds up energy transfer during both charging and discharging. That's what allows the Model 2 to almost fully recharge in just a few minutes. Do you think Tesla will really launch the Model 2 with a sodium ion battery? Let us know your thoughts below, we're reading every comment. But here's an even bigger shocker, 
The Tesla Model 2's battery pack has been priced at just $10 per kilowatt hour, not $100, but $10. That's like going from the price of a car to that of a bicycle. It's not because Tesla and CATL discovered some strange new material, it's because they're using something as common as salt, the same kind you have in your kitchen. It's almost unbelievable. While the global industry has been struggling for years to get below the $100 per kilowatt hour mark, CATL says the Naxtra battery for the Model 2 can be built for just $10 per kilowatt hour. Let's look at how far we've come. Back in 2008, lithium-ion batteries cost around $1,400 per kilowatt hour. It took 16 years to bring that down to around $115 by 2024. That milestone was when EVS started competing directly with gasoline vehicles, and home batteries became affordable. Now, CATL has brought the price down even further by a factor of 9. Dot. If this cost really holds true, the impact goes way beyond the Model 2. It could make energy storage systems and backup power units for homes extremely cheap and accessible. Affordable batteries could transform everything, from solar energy storage to powering entire homes during blackouts. CATL's Naxtra technology actually comes in two types a 24-volt version for heavy-duty trucks, and another one specifically made for electric cars like the Model 2. Both use the same base technology but are designed for different needs. Temperature performance is another big advantage. These sodium-ion batteries work perfectly from minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 70 degrees Celsius, far beyond what typical lithium batteries can handle. Even in freezing Arctic conditions, they retain up to 90% of their capacity. This isn't just about keeping the model to running. Smoothly during winter, it means EVs could operate even in the toughest climates on Earth. CATL also claims the Naxtra battery can last over 10,000 full charge cycles, and the heavy duty version can still function after sitting unused for an entire year. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. For comparison, Tesla's LFP batteries last around 3,000 to 4,000 cycles before their capacity drops below 80%. In real-world terms, a 360-mile range would fall to about 250 miles. That's still good, but nowhere near the potential of not. Typically, most EV batteries lose about 15% of their capacity after 200,000 miles. But if CATL's sodium battery really reaches 10,000 cycles, that's roughly 3.6 million miles before falling below 85% capacity. At that point, it's not just a car battery anymore, it's an entire portable energy system. Now, how reliable will the Tesla model to be with this new sodium ion battery? We'll know for sure when Tesla officially launches the car and releases full specs this November. However, early leaks already suggest it'll have at least 300 miles of range using the latest sodium ion cells. What's fascinating is that Tesla might reduce the battery capacity to just 53 kilowatt hours, yet still achieve that range. This points to extremely high battery efficiency and smart energy management. There will likely be two main versions of the Model 2 a standard range and a long range model. The long range one will obviously cost a bit more, but will provide extended range for drivers who travel longer distances often. Sodium ion batteries are also much cheaper than current LFP options, which is another reason Tesla might favor them. Estimates show that a 53 kilowatt hour sodium pack could cost about $2,000 less than an equivalent LFP. One sodium is also far more abundant about 300 to 500 times more common in Earth's crust than lithium. In fact, sodium makes up roughly 2.6% of the Earth's crust. While lithium only accounts for a fraction of a percent, that means sodium is practically endless in supply. Lithium batteries are expensive, not just because of lithium, but also due to costly materials like nickel and cobalt. Cobalt, in particular, has caused huge problems because of its high cost between $30,000 and $80,000 per ton, and the ethical concerns around mining in unstable regions. Sodium doesn't have these issues. It costs around $150 per ton and is produced safely and sustainably in many countries, including the US, China, and India. With sodium ion battery costs potentially as low as $10 per kilowatt. A 53 kilowatt hours pack for the Model 2 would cost only about $530, compared to more than $5,000 for an LFP pack. 